was gonna cut right there, but then this beat came and I was like, fuck. It's cracking peeps, happy Tuesday. T-Money here with you. Uh, inside story, I was literally, or true story rather, not inside, I was literally just filming um, this, what this was going to be, and that was a collection overview video for three titles, or I mean, sorry, three collection companies, and I should have said what was going to be. Seven minutes in, my snake shits all over me. So, honestly... If you guys want to see that footage or something, I gotta learn how to edit. It's fucking hilarious. He was chilling on my lap, and he was all of a sudden like super, super like docile, just max mode, lethargic almost. I don't even know if it's the right word. He was just chilling on my lap. And usually Lou is like you guys have seen. He's where is he now? He's fucking MIA, squirrely as fuck. So I was like, look at this. I was filming the video, and I was like, look at this, guys. And I actually took the camera. I was like, this, my snake's just chilling. Like he's super, super chill right now. Just, and I should have known. I, this is a telltale sign that he's gonna go to the bathroom. And so yeah, uh, all of a sudden, just fucking. And this guy is crazy. He when he shits, he shits, man. His poops are massive. Come on, no, he's caught on something sketch. Hey, come on. Fuck. Sorry guys. I try it. There we go. Yeah. Fuck. Hey Levi. Lou rather. So anyway, yeah, just drop the deuce all over me. What I was saying is when he poops, it's fucking no joke. It's a massive splooge because it's like the culmination of a week or two without pooping, so enough is enough, right guys? You get the idea. So anyway. Seven minutes in, I literally, I should just post the video so you guys can see, because it caught me off guard. I was like, oh, look at him being all chill, and then all of a sudden, wait, wait for it. Just explodes all over me. It's hilarious. I'll post it, maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I cleaned that mess up. He's good. I know he's not going to go again. I was actually worried, too. I was like, right before I started the video, I was like, should I? He hasn't pooped, and he ate like two nights ago, but and sure enough, he fucking shit all over me. Hey, at least it wasn't on my bed. He's done that before. All right, guys, let's get into this. Enough of the Lou blabber, uh -huh, snake blabber. Hey, at least I can say it's snake blabber and not just jibber jabber, jubber, jobber. All right, so we're gonna, three companies in this update. I'm doing my glass doll, uh, my Vestron video, new series, um, and my umbrella entertainment film. So three different distribution companies, two from the, um, from Australia and one from the States, clearly, or obviously that would be Vestron. Um, so I have a very modest um, umbrella entertainment and and really all three of these, but Vestron only has 11 titles to date, I believe. So, um, but yeah, I only have six titles from, from Glass Doll Films. So first up, um, but they're a really cool company from Australia. Uh, they put a lot of effort, I think, into their special features making sure that they're exclusive to glass doll films um, and they definitely you know they go out of their way to get good stuff and so because I know we've been waiting for um, oh man I always forget the name of the title code red put it out uh, ah, they're putting out something that code red put out but they're getting a lot of good features and stuff I'm sorry I'm drawing a blank on the name uh, it's gonna eat me up but anyway so um, yeah a lot of like uh, director commentaries cast commentaries um, they load these up, you know, with their own exclusive features. So, because some of these releases have been released in the states and in other places, but what makes them different is or exclusive is that they, uh, they're, you know, there are different special features. So anyway, that's Ghoulies too, and I also really like I dig the artwork a lot on um, these, and they all have reversible covers, I believe, or most do, if not all. Eaten alive, I really love that. This one, there's this packed full of um, extras. And it, there's a new introduction by Toby Hooper, commentary with co-writer, producer, actors, uh, makeups, uh, artists, commentaries, all kinds of different interviews, Robert England, loaded. So it's a really, really nice release, so. And that artwork is just fucking, man. These two right here, these two titles, they just, their artwork is so dope, so. Christmas Evil. My apologies if the film, it's because it's like shifty. 
I have my phone just balancing on this thing that rocks, so. But it goes with the hip hop beat, I think, so. Whatever. Um, next up we have, oh, I think I just startled him. Uh, Thirst, really cool. Australia, a lot of these are Aussie releases. And this company, by the way, um, they just released Survivor, which was also released by um, Severin recently in the States, but yeah, if you're in, into that movie, um, I'm, I'm gonna pick it up probably just to support Blast All, because I really like these guys. Um, one of the few companies that actually reached out to me, so I think that's really cool. Uh, and this is a great release, probably my favorite, Dead Kids, just because I hadn't seen this movie, also known as Strange Behavior, uh, until I saw this release. I had the DVD, I picked it up at FYE, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna hold out, because I had that, and I'm so glad I waited and watched um, the Dead Kids uh, version through Glass Doll, because it was a really good picture quality. Can't let him get loose again, sorry. All right, so next up, we'll get into the, uh, the Vestron series. I'm really not gonna spend a lot of time on this just because everybody and their mothers already talked about this. Everybody has these. There's only 11 titles to date, so yeah. Uh, Chopping Mall 1, Blood Diner 2, Waxwork and Waxwork 2 Double Feature 3, Return of the Living Dead 4, Chud 2, 5, uh, Lair of the Worm 6, Parents 7, The Gate 8, Wishmaster Collection 9, The Unholy 10, and Warlock 11. And yeah, so I'm not going to take them out. Everybody's seen them. So just, you know, just know that I got the collection for that. It doesn't even matter. I shouldn't even have bothered. But OK, so just for time's sake, though, guys, I don't really want to dwell on something that's been beaten to death. Um, but so now we'll move into my um, Umbrella Entertainment collection. Uh, really dig Umbrella. Uh, this is their integral cut of Reanimator. It's not the double disc edition, it's just a single release. What are you doing, dude? He's in my shirt now. Whatever, he's being chill, so I'll let him be. Uh, this is a newish release. Actually, I think it's one of their latest, one of two. Uh, Dark Age, really cool film with John Jarrett from Wolf Creek fame. Um, even though he's been around since before Wolf Creek, um, seemed to have gained some some a bit of a reputation from Wolf Creek, clearly, goes without saying. The Entity, really cool. Really glad that they put this out because I do have the Second Sight Steelbook. I think it's Second Sight. Maybe it's the other company, not Second Sight. Uh, oof, it's gonna kill me now. Another UK Steelbook company. It's not Second Sight, but God, I'm so forgetful. Uh, so this one, I got kind of lucky on this. It's just a single dish, single edition, sorry, disc edition. Rombi Zombie, Flesh Eaters, Lucio Volci Zombie. Um, really cool. This this was uh, I got from Deep Discount. They had one available. Um, oh, now he's up my ass, guys. Oh shit. Um, well, he's crawling up my back. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, gotcha. All right, sorry. Um, so where were we? Uh, full cheese zombie flesh eaters. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I just feel like it's kind of a rare title from Umbrella. I didn't even know they had released it, so I grabbed it for like 20 bucks, 17 bucks. Really fun film here, Road Games with Jamie Lee Curtis, and of course, Stacey Keach. It's a good film. Fun. Road Rage, that's pretty much what it is. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Road Games, but it's Road Rage. But the movie's called Road Games. Uh, this is a double, I actually showed this, I think, in a recent update, um, Death Wish 2 and 3. Really cool Chuck, Nor uh, Chuck Norris, uh, Chucky Bronson double feature. Charles Bronson, I don't know, is he called Chucky? I just called him Chucky, but. Um, so this is the double. I'm wondering why it's like waterlogged looking, but the uh, the double, um, what do you call it? Release of these two documentaries. Uh, Electric Boogaloo and uh, Machete Mavens. Cool. I've heard, I've seen um, Electric Boogaloo multiple times, I love it, but I've never seen Machete Maidens, so I gotta check that out. All right, next up we get into, this is a really cool release. However, uh, one thing I wanted to know, so this is The Blob and Return of the Blob, and uh, it's a triple feature, so there's three of them. The, the original, the remake, and then Ret I think, um, oh, uh, what is it? The Son of Blob, the Blob or something. It wasn't very good, but, and also the picture quality on this is not as good. Get Kino Lorber, uh, I'm forgetting the name of it, but uh, Beware the Blob, yes. See how excited I got. Um, 
Kino released that movie on Blu-ray and it's pretty cheap. You can get it for like nine bucks. I would go with that just because it's a much better print. But I mean, granted they packed everything on that triple feature so it's still worth the money. Because the other, uh, the blob and the remake look great. Um, this one is uh, really, really good. I love this. It's one of my favorite remakes. Probably my favorite remake of all time, I dare say. I fucking love it. There's just something about it. I have a, a big history of it. Watched it very young. The Tony Todd, I'm sorry, Tony Todd. Tom Savini, uh, Night of the Living Dead 90. I love that film. And so, yes, I did buy the Twilight Time edition. I did pay a lot of money for it. Like a fucking idiot, because it is... I didn't heed the warnings, and I didn't believe that the print was actually blue. And I was being an idiot, and it fucking was a horrible print. So, I was really psyched um, when Night of the Living Dead 90 was released by Umbrella, because it's a fucking decent print, and I love that movie, so... And I did miss, like, the double. I guess, like, these two... Initially, when they were released, there was a uh, kind of like a dual disc, two disc edition with the original and the remake. I missed the boat on that, so I had to grab them separately, which is fine. Uh, more meat on the rack, you know. Um, but Razorback, this is one of the first Umbrella Entertainment uh, releases I ever had. I ever had. Um, love the artwork here, Night of the Creeps. Actually, Andrew Ballona had showed this off in his Umbrella releasing video a while back, and I think that was... Right after I saw that video, I went out and bought it because I love that artwork so much. This is kind of ugly artwork for the brood, and to be honest, I've never seen this transfer. So I, you know, I have Criterion's, and Criterion's is beast. So um, one title, guys, that I just realized I don't have here because it's with my steel books, but I'm pretty sure I showed it off in my steel book um, update. So if you really want to see it, you can check out my steel book um, collection overview, and there's a picture, or it, I show you. Or I show it, rather. Uh, it's the Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 Steelbook Trilogy from Umbrella Entertainment. It's really nice. Uh, but I just don't have it here today. So I kind of want to get up and start looking for it. I don't know where it is offhand. So um, Anyway, we have The Brood. I already showed you guys that. Next up, we have Idle Hands. This is a relatively recent release from Umbrella. Um, come on, buddy. Squirrely motherfucker. Really, motherfucker, Lou, what you think you gon' do? Motherfuckers like you, Lou, give me all times and I gotta get by, but motherfucker, what? <laughs> so, yeah, body double, really cool release. I actually really do want to get the, um, uh, what do you call it, an indicator release of this, because, and I think it's going out of print, so I gotta jump on that, like, next paycheck for sure, because... Um, it's supposedly a really nice release, and I like the movie a lot. Uh, this one is awesome. It's got tons of movies, tons of special features. There's, like, a ton of movies on this. Um, uh, Death Catchers, Stunt Rock, Kung Fu Killers, uh, Danger Freaks, and The Stuntman. Oh, wait. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of movies that are on this release. So, at first, it was, like, 30 bucks. Why? way more expensive than everything else they've done but no it's because you get a bunch of features and a bunch of movies so it's not just the man from hong kong however that is kind of like the the highlight of the feature but yeah uh next up another cool release alienation really cool and we have this is i think there was a two disc edition of this release as well which i don't have which is rare but I wanted to grab this because I love Romero and I collect Romero's films. So, yeah, it's their uh, release of Day of the Dead. Just two more, three more titles, guys. Then we have uh, a funny movie, Beastmaster. Which I heard Don Co Coscarelli is not a fan of this movie at all. I forget who I... Somebody said that, and which is just interesting to me. I mean, actually, not really. I could see why. So this should have gone up with Electric Boogaloo because it's another kind of, um, well, trailer documentary section, I guess maybe combine those but yeah this is uh the 80s i had grabbed the uh, garage house pictures releases of the 70s 60s 70s 80s was it um so i didn't feel the need to double dip on the 70s just because i'm really an 80s baby i love 70s film too it's tech you know probably technically better a better decade but i love the 80s so <laughs> not gonna lie i fuck with the 80s even though my favorite film one of my favorite films is from the 80s and the 70s late 70s so, uh, last up, guys, from Umbrella Entertainment, the only one that randomly had an ugly slipcase, which I kind of find funny, uh, Body Melt. But really cool release, uh, really good transfer. Um, it's in high def from a brand new 4K restoration of the film. 
Um, and there are some exclusive uh, special features on this re release as well, behind the scenes featurette, uh, making of the film from 92, just a lot of cool stuff. So, so yeah guys, that's it. Those are my three. Sorry I kind of cheated on the, um, on these, but what the fuck, I'll show you real quick. Chopping Mall number one, Blood Diner number two, Waxwork, Waxwork two number three, Return of the Living Dead number four, gotta kinda keep these in order, uh, Chud two, five, Lair of the White Worm, six, really cool, good movie, good release, Parent seven, The Gate eight, I actually got this uh, for $12.99 at Best Buy, um, or $14.99, one of the two. Uh, Wishmaster Collection, number nine. Number ten was The Unholy. And last but not least was Warlock Collection, number eleven. The Warlock Collection, uh, the first three films. So yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. That concludes my um, collection overview for three more. So I'm batting these out of the park, man. I uh, got a few. I got a bunch more companies to go, but I've really gone through like Scream Factory. Arrow, those companies were the, the companies, and Kino Lorber, which I don't think I, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I know I posted, a, maybe I did, I know I did Redemption, but uh, Kino I have a bunch of, so if I haven't done Kino, maybe I'll do that next, but if I have, just tell me, and um, alright guys, time to wrap this up, my snake's starting to smell like piss, so, <laughs> catch y'all on the flip side, peace.